My name is Sir Simon Peter Gunga. I'm from Mombasa, Kenya. So I have a question for the prophet. I don't know if mine is a curse or is a sangoma or what. I've lived abroad for the last 18 years. So my problem is that whenever I get something good, it, it is taken away from me. Like I got a green card in 2010, and within six months only, it was revoked that I didn't get it the right way. I lived in Canada for 10 years working there. I applied for permanent resident four times. In 2016, I got a letter that my application has been approved. And I, thought I got a letter the same time saying my application has been rejected. And, uh, we shall go back to the land to where you came from. Yes. It was a big land. Yes. And uh, it was cut this way, this way. And yes. So the land issue you are talking about are the court case. The land was given to me by a friend of mine. And then I developed the land mm -hmm. and I built a property there. Mm -hmm. So two times that property was burnt mm -hmm. and then had a court case also on the, that same land, which lasted five years. Mm -hmm. I won the case and sold the land. Then uh, that's So what if I you want to ask me a question, yes. where all these problems are coming oh, from? Yes. This is the land issue. Let me remove this problem from you. So, by the blood of Jesus. No, Father, take out this problem. The man of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' holy name. The problem is over. My name is Anthony Andako from Kenya. My question is, in our family, we have a lot of wrangles. Me and my brothers, right now, we can't talk to each other. Again, when I sleep, there's something that come and sit on my back. At that time, I cannot breathe. I cannot even remove my sound while I'm sleeping. The quarreling mom. Mama, Ayomba. Yes, my mom is very quarreling. In fact, she hates me too much. The prophecy you are saying, the man of God is true. So the same, your grandma? Most of the time, my grandmother will quarrel with the grandfather. They were just quarreling each and every time. Your mom to marry your father was a big war? Yes, I confirm that to be true. They did not agree. I confirm that is true. So your mom hates herself? Yes. So the children. So this is where the confusion comes from. And you people, you tried to start there, yes. and the things were stopping somewhere. Yes. So this is the issue. Mm. I open the way for you. The magnet. Finish. Hey, now you are going to shine. Thank you, man of God. Thank you for delivering me. You are going me. to shine. Thank you, man of God. Everybody will say, eh. Is this the man we knew? Oh, somebody else. Now you'll be able to open up a school. Everybody will wonder to see the principal. Everybody will become. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kwa majina naito Anjeri, ningeataka kujua why my family... Because the way you were brought up, there was no peace. And there was beating, beating, beating. Me, I don't like beating children. And this is what you are doing. Where are the two kids you are beating? Where are the two kids you are beating? Tukiwa wadogo mama ya tu alikuwa na tuchapa kabisa ata wakati niliza watoto wangu ni kakuwa na yu anga ya kuwachapa. Ask God to forgive you. I ask God to forgive me and deliver me. I don't like people who beat children. No, no. Kwa majina naito Anjeri. Be free in Jesus' name. Have peace with the children.
You, I answered you already. You saw me answering your question. My name is Nelson Munene. I come, I come from Kenya, Nairobi. I come from Kenya, I come from Kenya, Nairobi. I come the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, has answered my question because he appeared to me in a dream and delivered me. That is the first dream. The second dream again, I saw the man of God delivering me and I started asking, where is my wife? Have peace with your wife. Because the Lord said he answered your question in the dream. And told you to come and I pray for you. So he said, no answer again. Kwa majina ninaitwa Margaret Nyambura nimetoka Samburu Kenya nimeteseka sana mtumishi wa Mungu nikifanya biashara inaanguka na you had a man and the man wanted you and uh, there came a disagreement and still now the man is claiming you mtumishi wa Mungu haya anaongea ni kweli nikiwa kijana kuna kijana aliniuliza na sikuolewa na yeye mm -hmm. Up to now you see him in the dream. It is very true. I was supposed to be married by somebody else. But I did not get married to that first person. Now I got married to somebody else and I don't have peace in this marriage. Because in the dream, I always see the first man coming to me in a dream. And since I got married, I've never had peace in the dream. I've been getting sick. I also had diabetes. Come, come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus' soul. My name is Justina Kerubo. I come from Kenya. I wanted to ask why our family is not progressing and we don't have even job and we have a lot of problem in our family because of theft where is the cause theft some time back there was a young man who was killed because of stealing. And this is like a curse in the family. From my mother's side, the uncle for my mother, he stole some cows and he was beaten until he died. Now what the man of the Lord said is true about the prophecy. There is a man here. You people, you were five. Okay. And uh, you fought over a house. And you lost it all. Till now, you dream that you are still in the war. Come out for prayer. My name is Albert Banda. I live in Botswana, but I come from Zimbabwe. With the Zimbabwe. Men of God, I confirm the prophets what you talked about the house. Um, there's a land from my father's side. We are five. So what happened is uh, when I was young, uh, my grandfather, the house was in my name. So what happened? My grandfather passed away when I was young, and my grandmom, so, and my father also died. So what happened is my auntie, uh, she's fighting with us. Um, she's saying that the house for her parents, but the, the house is written in my name. So this fight, I just left it like that. I don't want to be involved, but she wanted to save the house, but the problem is the house is in my name. So I sometimes see myself people going to traditional doctors concerning that house in the dreams.
I confirm that men of God. So don't worry. You are not going to lose this land. Uh, but remember your brothers or your relative. So it will be soon be in your hands. God will make a way. Those which doctors forget about them, it is finished. The mighty name Jesus Christ. They will go and come back no more. Be free in Jesus' name. Don't go back to the woman. There is a woman you go to. She used funny, funny things. Don't go. Man of God, what they say is true about the woman. Sometimes they get a friend of mine, I told him about the issue of the land. Uh, then he, he took me to a witch doctor who was a lady. I confirmed that sometimes they, she gave me some chance. I used them. She gave me the rope to put on, on my waist. I removed it sometime back. Where I is it? it? I threw it. I, I, I can't remember where it is. I removed it. I, I threw it away. Because these things you remove, you should burn them. Burn them. Burn them. All those things. Don't go back to Sangoma. I promise I won't go back, man of God. My name is Joshua Ngacha Panyako from Kenya. The question I have uh, to the prophet, man of God, is that I don't progress in whatever I do. I was employed by the bank. 2012, I was dismissed. I tried politics. I failed. I sold everything. My two plots I had uh, bought. From there, I started a business of the school. The school is not even progressing. I tried so many businesses that are just stuck. I don't want to talk much about this issue. But it seems in the family it is a lot. I want you to remember of a certain man in your family who was killed. They killed him for a purpose. And they killed him. This was a land issue. Man of God is true. My father, before he died, there was a wrangle of the land between my father and the brothers. And that land, actually, it caused so many problems whereby my father, when he died, there was an allegation that he was killed because of the land. Before, there was one who was thrown into the river. And uh, people thought he threw himself there. But he was thrown in the river. Mm. The land has brought issue. True man of God. The man that was killed because of the land was, that was thrown in the river. My nephew. Father Father is also a son. Lord Jesus solved this issue. And Jesus will pray. My name is Kineilu Museki. I'm from Botswana. I have two questions, men of God. Coming to Uganda, I really struggled. Like, I had to ask God if this trip is blessed or what, because when I got to Johannesburg, they demanded so many things from me, I almost went back. When I landed in Uganda, they also demanded close to 40 US dollar. I was shocked, just the churches on the trip, and I said, I will just keep pushing until I reach the man of God, because I have so many questions that I want him to answer. The problem is the sorrow and the pain in my life. At work, in my love life. Okay, let me remove the sorrow and the pain. Thank, Thank you, man of God. That is Thank all. You. And Thank again, you. follow Jesus. Thank Thank you, man of God. Where's your husband? Because this is the issue which is troubling you. Yes, yes, no marriage. I'm not married. I'm 42. I have two kids. Where is this man? <laughs> he has a hunchback. Tall one. He's tall and has a hunch. Yeah. The father of my first one is tall. He's tall. He's tall. Hmm. That is the one I'm talking about. The maybe with the one one that... Yeah, he's the, he's the tallest I've dated. He's taller than me. Taller than you, sir. 
Why you left him? His mom was in our relationship. But he loved you too much. And he told you don't bother the mom. We knew the Lord. And you decided to go with the rumors. So you were wrong. wrong and he still loved you. He's married. Because you ran away from him. <laughs> He has never hated you. I don't say go back to him to tell you that you are the one who was wrong. Don't do this again. By the blood of Jesus. There's a naughty woman. Now, they took $40. They don't even. So you want your $40. Office give me $500. Office mumpe yo dollar bitano. Men of God, my name is Kinelo Musike. I wish to confirm the prophecy you gave about the man with the hunchback. He is the father to my first son who is now 17 years old. They are staying together. I mistook the love for control. Because he wouldn't allow me to go out or meet other people. He would just want me here and now. When he called, he would give me two seconds to answer. If I don't answer, it means I'm cheating. So I thought that was uh, something else. But I see now that I was wrong. It was love, not control. He loved you too much. Yes, Though he was like this. He is like that. God is telling you things about us. So you are complaining of your dollars. Now, these are five hundred dollars. Thank, Thank you, men of God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Stella Charles. I come from Tanzania, Mwanza. Okay, man of God, I was asking, what is hit in my life? Because I used to see myself going back to school in primary school. I see myself in class. No success when I try to do a business, business doesn't work. No marriage. Everything is confusing me. Even there is no peace at home. The disappointments in your life, you are the cause. You have never been stable. If somebody says, I love you, next day you have another one, I love you. Man of God, what you say, that is true. But the, the ones who came to tell me that they love me, they are married men. What about the two? They were also married? Yes, they are all married. Just the only one I got when it was 2012. Yes. That's the only man I got that was not married. And he went to see my father. After there, when he came back, I don't know what his sister told him. He just vanished away from me. Okay, let me pray for you. Man, Jesus. You people fasted in an old house. Man of God, what you have said is true. About the old house. That's where we come from. That house I used to dream going back there, even yeah. see myself cooking in that house. I see two big snakes in that house. And the, the, snake, the black snake bites my younger brother who follows me. So this is where the issue was yes. with the house girl. Because yes. when you were young, you people had a woman and another house girl. Yes. Like maids. Yes. So these are the people who used to say, Hey, Mama, you are beautiful. Hey, it's true, man of God. It's, what you're saying is true. Because we grow up when we are these house girls who are taking care of us. Yes, man of God, you can confirm that. These are the things you see like a snake. Yes. yes. What you say, man of God, is true. That I used to see the snake in the dream. And there was like a basket. 
They used to put, sometimes they put clothes. But sometimes they used to put things tied, tied. It was not down, it was up somewhere, hung somewhere. It was made in, this thing they make in wood, 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 wood. It's like a basket. They used to keep clothes there. This you made this issue really troubled your life. No marriage, nothing. Man of God, I'm here to confirm the prophecy that you have told me. A certain lady, she was there at her home taking care of us, me and my younger brother. It's true, man of God. There is a place where we used to put these dirty clothes. Uh, in our language, because me, I'm from Kenya, in our language, we call it chondo. We put the dirty clothes there. It was a basket. So this lady used to tell me that you are beautiful. What do you want to be when you grow big? I told her I want to be a journalist. Yes, you are beautiful. You can do it. And she used to wear my clothes. I used to sleep with her. So what you're saying, man of God, is true. Now, if made wear your clothes, then you become what? <laughs> man of God, deliver me. Who is this man to you? This is my younger brother, the last born. Everything scattered. He was studying in Dar es Salaam there, doing a because business. Because of anger? Is that the biggest issue with him? Yes, it's true, man of God. He has, he has anger, anger, bitter. Man of God of ten is true. Sometimes he wants to kill himself because people blame him too much. Man of God, what you said is true. I have too much anger and people blame me too much. And sometimes I think of committing suicide. People blame me too much. I have a lot of anger. I overreact. So I ask you just to forgive me. Forgive me. It's true about hunger. Even me, I try to talk to him. He don't listen to me. I cry a lot to tell him, just calm down. Can you see your brother? He has nothing right now. Just settle and do what your mother is directing you. He given capital to do a business. The business just collapsed. When I told him, just tell me what is going on. He don't want to tell me. And I call him from Dar es Salaam. Then I say, I have to go to see Prophet Kaganda with this. So I bring him here. He don't know where he was going. And I say, God, locate this, my young brother. I brought him for deliverance. So this issue is not from you. But I'm still looking at the mom of your mom. Because things went wrong that way. Where they come from, they have a kind of forest. This is where witchcraft was performed a lot. Yes, man of God. Man of God, I can confirm it. Where my mom come from, the mother of my mother, they used to, to practice this ritualist. The father is called Jacobo. That is the owner of those things. Ritualists. They used to practice. Even the father of my mother used to call us. Come, I want to bless you. I want to take you to, to, to the ancestors to, mm. to locate you wherever you are. You are far from me. So this is why it get disappeared. You want to be in people. You want to be alone with agony, with... It's true, man of God. Now when you look at him, you think he's a bad boy. No. No, 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 no. I'm always alone. I like to be alone, man of God. No, Jesus loves you. Yes, From today, life will never be the same again. You, you have many vehicles. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, my name is Mlungi Sishezi from South Africa. I was referred to you by my man of God, who's my local pastor, and I had problems with starting a business, and also I've lost my job as well. 
and I just want to know what is the problem, what is the reason. Are you not married? This is the biggest problem which is troubling you. I'm not, I'm not married, sir. So you can know now the cause of the issue. Should I mention it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Go and be born again. Leave this women issue. I ask God for, to forgive me. Do you know exactly where you went wrong? You saw it in the dream. And you're asking man of God where I went wrong. Um, yes, sir, I saw a woman in the Stop dream. Stop fornicating, just so. There is a lady with big breasts that I used to date four years ago. She always been there in my life. And every time she needs help, she always comes from me. And she always wants money. Ever since I started dating her, my life has been going down. But we're no longer dating anymore. But ever since I've noticed that there has been a change in my life. Leave, leave the woman. Everything will be okay. By the blood of Jesus. Praise God, man of God, Samuel Jr. from Ghana. The problem that brought me here is uh, my ministry is dying off for the past 16 years now. And, uh, I want to know if the area of location is not being good to relocate to so that place off or to relocate or whatever I really want to know. What happened between you and the elderly jubilant man? What I mean, what I mean he doesn't preach like you. Uh, that's my spiritual father. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, sorry to say he never been to school before. And uh, my mom and my dad had issues, so I ran out of house, and I went to that man to take me as a, uh, as a son. And uh, along the way, uh, I left him. I break out with him. So you can now know whatever words he spoke upon your life. Yes, yes I confirm it. And you can know why your ministry doesn't grow. Yes. And uh, you dream that you are in a very small place. Sometimes you are being closed in by police. Yes. Uh, I, I confirm it. I had an issue of which uh, I was imprisoned. It came on uh, our television and the whole media men took it up. And the issue, as a matter of fact, a, a guy broke into the church, stole, and my guys caught him, and I came into the scene, and the whole town mobbed against me, and uh, it resorted into a whole lot of pains, and I was taken out by the police custody. Uh, actually, I didn't talk, I didn't explain the issue, so I was being put before court to narrate the story, but the CID in charge told me that looking at me and the whole issue, I'm innocent. So I should just tell the court that uh, I plead guilty, but they should temper mercy with me. And not knowing I was being put behind bars for two months. But I spent 16 days in, in prison. Because the man vowed, once you leave him, you never have peace. This is what you are talking, church. Well, Teddy. Yeah, well, means died. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> this church, no, no, well, the preachers, um, what I've said in your language, <laughs> that is how it preaches. Yes. 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 You think I'm a fool? Well, you call me a non educated Okay, we shall see. Your minister. Well, well, well. What is that? So this is the issue. I went to apologize to him and still. No, you needed somebody to deliver you. That was all. 
That was all. But this I went to him. Wehu, 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 wehu. You cannot be free until you get man of God who has power. Real power to deliver you by the blood of Jesus. Father, forgive him and set him free. Father, for the salvation of his soul. Rise up. Go sin no more. The spirit of lust, I don't know where it's coming from. Because of your mom's issue. Very true. You have the spirit of lust. Very true. All that you said is accurate. For instance, my mom. My mom divorced my dad. I never knew who my mom was until I was 17 to 18 years. And uh, when I came to my mom, she told me the one who gave birth to me is not my biological father. Okay. He should show me who my real dad is. He gave me more than about... Has she years. ever showed you your real father? Yeah, no. He gave me about more than 18 to no. 20 men. Uh, so finally, I decided that the one who, take, who, who took good care of me is my, is my dad. So this is where you get this bit of... Uh, Plus, from your mom. You have never seen your dad. No. All those who are shown to me, they are not your father. Yes? Yeah, it's true. But you get a dream. And see where your dad was coming from. You say, Oh God. I'm surprised. He was not from Ghana. This is the building where he used to work from. Hey, I'm sorry. God, show me now. God, your father was not from Ghana. My, my mom is half British and half Ghana. Yeah, so as to my dad, uh, the man who took care of me in Ghana, we have a place called Volta Region. So I don't assume. worry, the dream will give you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Since you are blessed, don't worry. No. I know in July you are here. You come with a big testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Now you'll be able to perform some miracle. Don't forget Jesus. My name is Anthony, I'm from Kenya. Man of God, my question was, I have a problem of being able to keep and maintain a steady relationship and also being able to maintain a business. So my question was, what could be the problem? Come, I pray for you. I'm still finding out this spiritual woman issue. Stop watching pornography. Stop it completely. Your life will never be the same. Man again. of God, did you say this true about the spiritual women? Sometimes after I watch those that videos, I end up finding myself in the dreams and then sleep with them. You are going to do your business, your everything. Where you see that this is the cause, the day you again watch the phonography, that day it will never be good for you. You remember me, the prophet told me never to do this. You regret it. Man of God, I ask for God to deliver me and I ask for forgiveness. Go, don't watch them again. My name is Samuel Banga. I'm from the United States. I've been there for 22 years. Uh, in my life, I didn't achieve anything. I reached the excellent I have a business. I lose all the business. I've been sick also. Okay, once you people lived in a town, and down the town, the road came like this. This came like this. This crossed like this. And, uh, and uh, after crossing, the, 
Then the houses were down here. These are the houses I'm talking about. And you people got problems with the houses there. It is a stone. There were many houses. It may not be necessarily your own house. Get me proper. Uh, what you said, prophet, is true. Where we used to live when I was young, we, we, have, we have a restaurant and we have a store which my dad built. In a restaurant in a store at Zimba. In the town. Mutown. So there's a road which comes from it's come like a tea. That one come that way, I don't cross that way. Katiwali wall go the tea road, or move our guru ne kiddi roll and never followed down. And then the place the houses is kind of flat, but it's not real flat, it's kind of high a little bit. Katenyumbe yao, edidanya we didn't get you wakuru. So the misunderstanding between my dad and the place, uh, the, the store was around 2015 when the South Sudan get the peace. There's one of the government officials took the store, he claimed that that's his, and my father tried to fight to take it back. I have the papers to prove that this is, this is his place. And the guy threatened to kill him. By then my dad was communicating to me when I was in the US, I told him, your life is important. The building is nothing, just let it go. If God's will, we can build something else next time. And then they took the building, my dad left it alone. And he would say is true, as now we don't have any property anywhere in South Sudan. So don't worry. From now onward, you come back here to give your testimony. Okay, come on, please. Father is also your son. Have mercy upon him. Be free in Jesus' holy name. Father, help him. In Jesus' name. Rise up. Now everything will go on well. Remember to give your two tithes. You get money, money, money. It is over. Good. My name is Mary Kamau from Kenya. I have a problem in our family. There is no marriages. If I try to do any business, it's not going on. And everything is collapsing. It was that time when the land issue where there is a stone occurred. Yes, my name is Mary Kamau from Kenya. The land is for my grandmother, the mother of my mother. Yeah, it has a lot of stones there. The man of God, what you are saying and is... And the man stood on the stone like this and said, nobody will ever take this land over my dead body. No way. You people, you never get peace. And announce a curse upon you people. Almost nine people. No peace, nothing goes on. What man of God you are saying is very and true. And he, he promised you people to go mad. And the three of you, you feel that something is going on wrong. Very true man of God. Yeah. The man is, I think he is my grandfather because I was told by my grandmother that they had the land issue. From that time, everybody from, starting from my mother to me, we have no marriages, family issues, mental issues. Yeah. Yes, three of us, even one, of, one is my cousin, and another one has even committed suicide and is dead. Because of that land issue. But who knows it? Jesus knows it, that's why I know. Because I, I don't know you. If I tell you people that everything is well with you, get to know that I've heard from Jesus. Just don't bother your life too much. 
by the blood of Jesus death go Jesus. Father, I command this spirit of madness go. Out. In the name of Jesus. Lose your grip. Go and come back. No more. Dog out. Dog out. Dog out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rise up. You have a dog disturbing you in the dream. Yeah, I have so many bad dreams. Sometimes dog chasing me. You yes. see dog coming to bite you. Yeah. Sometimes and you chase them. Very true man of Others God. want to bite you down. Very Very true true man of God. God. Even snakes. So yours is death. Mm. That is all. If I don't pray for you, oh sorry. Because you dreamed that you were entering a certain small house. Manake uliota unaingia kwa nyumba flani ndogo. And uh, you saw as if you were being closed over there. Na ukaona ni kama unafungiwa pale. That is why I say this your issue is clear death. If I don't pray for you, you will not come back to Kampala. Because you will die. Man of God, what you have said is true. Ever since I dreamt, that is when I started having a problem. Nabi, ulisema kwamba niliota nikingia kwa nyumba kweli. You told me that I had a dream that I was entering inside a house. Ni kweli kabisa sababu baada kuota hiyo ndoto nikaona nafungiwa mlango kesho yake nikafanya ajali ya gari. It is very true because in that dream I dreamt entering in a house and they locked me inside and the following day I literally had an accident. Sasa saa zote kama niko baada kufanywa baada kuumia spine na gallbladder Nika pre kwa hospitali, kafanyo oppression, nika ketu kwa mwezi mitatu. During that time, I injured my spine, and I, and I had a problem in my gallbladder, and I was taken to hospital, I was admitted for three months. Bada kutoka uko, uwa ndoto, bado na yota mpaka sasa. Ata jana ndi yota hapa kampala, kwamba nazikuwa, natolewa, nazikuwa, natolewa. Ever since that time, I've been having that dream. Even yesterday in Kampala, I had a dream that they are taking me and burying me. After burying me, they remove me again. And then they take me, they bury me again. Ata usiku sikulala, mwili na mshipa zena vutika, mwili na kauka, wafikiria ni simiti, ni mekwa kwangu simiti. Okay, let me pray for you. Because this is removing you from the grave. Na kutowa sasa kutoka kwa manu mekuliwa. Father, I remove him from the grave. Baba umtoe kutoka mali ya mikufa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wa jina la Yesu Christo. Have life again. Kuwa na maisha tena. We live for some more years. Na uishi kwa miaka mingi. In Jesus Christ. Wa jina la Yesu. Devil! Go! Genda! Lose your grip! Mute! Please, get him. Go! Genda! Come back no more. Todanga nate. Rise up. Muyimuke. Seba yimuka. So, gentlemen, tell me about the three gods. As much as we have pity on you, but tell me about the three gods. As if I don't know. What did you do with the three gods, you people? 
Chiche chaba, o chiche chemo akola nembu zesa tu bantu mui. Mamba ina chinjwa. But tell us in the physical how you were involved with the three goats. This is rituals. Tutege ze mbudi wengerje wenye gira monsonga ze mbuzi ze nesa tu kuno kusadaka. Tulichenja mbuzi tatu. We slaughtered three goats. What was the issue of slaughtering them? Sababu wakati nilikuwa mdogo si kuenda shule nikienda shule mina kuwa mgonjwa. When I was young I didn't go to school. Nikienda school mina kuwa mgonjwa mguwe na uma, mwile na uma. Alafu wakasema ile ni mapepo ya kenyanya paki chinjwe mbuzi. When I used to go to school I used to get sick in my body. Now they told me that this has to do with something spiritual so they have to slaughter goats. Ndo sababu tulikachinja hizo hiyo ndo mbuzi tatu ambao unaona nyeupe nyekundu na ya madoa doa That is the reason why they slaughtered three goats one was white the other one was spotted the other one was almost reddish And these are the issues killing you now Naomba Mungu anisamee nilifanya dhambi kuchinja mbuzi ikiwa niko mgonjwa damu ya Yesu ndio nioshe niwe mzima nimefanya dhambi I ask, I ask Jesus to forgive me of my sin. We slaughtered goats. That is a sin because it is only the blood of Jesus that can cleanse me. So now the Lord has said you. Sasa Mungu amekupona. So we have gone to a house that has been known big there are three houses there Tumeenda kwa nyumba sasa na pale kuna nyumba tatu and there are some stones na kuna mawe pale yeah and uh, we, Equa. Eh? Equa. it is there the... and uh, we found the one which was broken remain half na tukapata ile nyumba ambayo ilikuwa imevunjika vunjika imebaki kidogo eh hey, nyumba ya nyanyangu iko hmm? Ye... Yes the house is there it is mine. So we went there to bury you. Sasa tulikuwa tumeenda pale kukuzika. It was a Saturday. Ilikuwa siku ya Jumamosi. But I've gone there to stand there. Lakini nikaenda pale kusimama pale. So that they don't bury you. Ili wasikuzike. Asante Yesu, asante Yesu. Niliona prophet. Thank you Jesus. Prophet alikuwa anakamwambia mama, nikaona kwamba nazikwa, alafu nasema prophet amekuja, akanambia toka. Toka, nikamwambia, nilimwambia jana. Thank you Jesus. I saw in a dream. I saw them burying me, but I saw prophet coming and prophet said come out, come out. Hallelujah. You are free. Uko huru. You will live another 15 years. Utaishi miaka ingine 15 zaidi. The Lord wants to send someone. Here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. If the Lord wants to send someone, here I am, send me. The mental issue in the family, that is what is troubling you. Here I am, send me. My name is Rebecca. What, what the prophet has prophesied is true. I have a brother who went to Canada for 18 years. He came back and he's not normal. He's like mental. Rebecca. Alingo mtafu uobongo. 